Mr Gill, two minutes, please. I believe it's important that we stress the importance of education in combating terrorism and engagement with those vulnerable to radicalisation. Nothing can justify extremism, but we must acknowledge that it does not arise in a vacuum. Narratives of grievances, actual or perceived injustice, promised empowerment and sweeping change become attractive where human rights are being violated, good governance is being ignored and aspirations are being crushed. Violent extremists have been able to recruit over 30,000 foreign fighters from over 100 nations to travel to Syria, Iraq, Libya, Yemen, Afghanistan, according to the UN Secretary General. Some of them will no doubt be horrified by what they see and will be anxious to put those experiences behind them. But others have already returned to their home countries to spread hatred, intolerance and violence in their own communities. We will not be successful in combating terrorism unless we can harness the idealism creativity and energy of young people and others who feel disenfranchised. Young people must be viewed as an asset and must be empowered to make a constructive contribution to the political and economic development of their societies and nations. We must offer them a positive vision in their future together with a genuine chance to realize their aspirations and their potential. The same applies to those states who have neglected whether economically or politically. Our security services can only do so much to protect us. And as we are constantly told, the terrorists only have to get lucky once. We need to change hearts and minds. And while strengthening legal definitions and formalizing cooperation might help, ultimately, we need to successfully challenge the whole ideology behind the extremist narrative. Thank you.